I mean, as preliminary as it is, um, and Manny has his obligations in Congress in the Philippines, would this mean that you would have to full-time go to the Philippines to train there? Pretty much, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That'll, that'll be... Um, but I, I've had to do that many times in my life with them anyway, so it's, it's, it's nothing new. But um, we'll just hire star partners and go, because with this gym and Manny's gym are actually designed by the same person, me. <laughs> They're both almost exactly the same. His is a little bit bigger than this. So, but, but, um, no, but it's very, you wouldn't even know you're in a different place, I swear. Yes. Like How did you take to the news that, that Broner priced himself out? That's what Bob said, and he had some choice words for Bob on Instagram. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, basically, he told him, pay me what, what I'm worth. They called Bob a derogatory name. Were you surprised at, at, at that? Well, I was surprised at the offer because, I, you know, again, I hadn't heard anything from Manny yet that we're going we're gonna to fight anybody, you know? So then, then I heard Broner was on the table, and someone said, what do you think about Broner? I said, you know, I think it's a good opponent for Manny, I said, but is, is Bob just giving me that name Broner to maybe draw Mayweather out? Because yeah. Mayweather wants to be the star, and we all know that, and that, then when Mubu said it should be last night in the restaurant, that, let's do it again, you know, and we're just casually just, just saying hello to each other. I, I think I missed that. You said you said last uh, move has told you that he wants to do Pacquiao Mayweather again. Yeah. Oh, that was just last night. Last night. Yeah. What did you say to that, Freddie? I said, sure. I said, you know, that's what I want. So it, it didn't last. You know, he went to his table. I went to buy it. Wow. This fight is looking like Crawford and Puzzle fight. It's looking like they're, they're setting up Crawford to win. Everybody talks about it's Crawford's deal. Uh, is it, is you it, like that, don't you? Yeah, the Crawford show. <laughs> this is definitely, uh, you know, six to one odds in Vegas. Really? Um, six to one odds? Bob Arum is not going to come to media day today because he knows he needs the other guy to win. And it's not going to bother me or my fighter, but I know why. Well, he was invited yesterday because Bob Shapiro wanted to come watch Postal Train yesterday, and he he was with Bob, and he invited Bob to come with him, and Bob denied it. So I know Bob wants to win, and we might need to have win, but uh, I think my guy can become a, 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 as big or a bigger star than his opponent. Um, you know, he's from Ukraine, but he's taking English lessons. He, he called me up one day from the Ukraine and said, Hi, Freddie, how are you? And he just wanted to show me he's, he is practicing. We did one uh, press conference in English, and he's trying to be, you know, I think uh, the American public really likes that one. Mm -hmm. A fighter from a different country try, at least tries to learn the language and does, you know, does, does speak English at, at different times, at certain times. And uh, I, I think he's one of those guys that could be, become a, a, a superstar in America, even though he's uh, from, from the Ukraine. With, with, uh, with his performances against Aydin and Matisse recently, um, you know, he could box, he's improved a lot under you. What, what do you think is his equalizer? Is his power more, his an awkwardness? What do you think really works to Postal's advantage? His uh, left hand is terrific. He sets everything up off the left hand. He does have good power in the right hand, and that's his knockout job. But you know what? He will not go after a knockout early in the fight. He'll break you down with the jab first, and then he'll get the, the, the right distance, and then um, after about seven or eight rounds, and that's when he'll go for a knockout. He does not, he's very patient. He, does, he, he doesn't try to do it too quickly. He sets it up, he, he breaks the fighter down, and then knocks him out later. I mean, um, you know, at the one he beat his last opponent. I mean, everyone's like jumping up and so forth. I'm sitting on the stool because I know this guy's going to get up. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's always gotten up. And then when he didn't, I was so surprised. I was just, I was really really surprised. I mean, he he evidently has a great power in that right hand yeah. to do that damage on making making that veteran like that quit for the first time in his life. He caused a little stir by saying yesterday or something that Matisse is a better fighter than Crump. Is he? Maybe. Yeah, um, you know, if you go 
if you go down the, the you look at the who's fought who, yes, he's a better fighter. But you know, he's a little bit older now, a little bit maybe over the you know, getting getting to be that point over the hill a little bit. But um, you know, you it's definitely argue. You could definitely argue that that fact. Yeah, because he has fought a lot of good guys, and nobody's ever stopped him. And um, I think my guy dominated him the whole fight. Pretty, a lot of people are really high on Crawford, even calling him a pound for pound fighter. What makes you so confident that you guys could beat him right now? Well, my, I don't underestimate my fighter, I think. He's a good fighter. I mean, he's very basic. He's very, his fundamentals are very good. He uh, came from a great amateur background. Um, he does things like he's, he, he trains like he's supposed to. I mean, he's, he's, he's here for a reason. I mean, he has a battle ahead of him, and he's 100% ready for that battle. Ready to, I want to get your opinion on something. Kel Brook is fighting Triple G, and <laughs> I see the smile. What, how did Freddie Roach react to that news? Uh, he's got a lot of balls. I mean, because, you know, Triple G's like the most duck guy in the world at this point, I think. He's a good fighter. I like him, he's a very, and he's a good person. He's been to my gym and he's, you know, he's, he's a likable guy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can dislike him for being so good, but he is a he is a very, very good fighter, and I think he's way too big and strong for Kel Brook. But, um, you know, I think Kel Brook is desperate to look for a payday out there. I mean, he's never gotten that opportunity because the Mayor Crown won't fight him. And he, he's always been ducked a little bit, so he he chose to jump up and wait like Amir Khan did, and you saw what happened to Amir Khan, and I expect the same thing to happen to Canelo. Do, do you give him a better chance than you did Khan against Canelo? Because Canelo at least, I mean, Khan at least won some rounds from Canelo. I think that Triple G is the best fighter in the world today, pound for pound. I mean, I, I, I've studied this guy, his ring generalship, he's very, very good. He is very good. So you don't see anybody beating him at this point, Freddie? Not that way. way. No. Even if he moves up to 168 and fought maybe Andre Ward or somebody like that? I'm not sure if Ward's two-year layoff didn't hurt him more than we think. Um, even though his next opponent, the Russian bro, um, Kovalev. Kovalev, didn't look that good in his last fight the other night. Um, but Ward hasn't looked good in his last two comeback fights, to be honest with you. you know? So I, I'm kind of anxious to see how he develops. That two-year layoff might, may have hurt him more than he realizes. His two years off is a long time. It is. It is a long time. Postal fought him. Uh, the kind of fight you like, you were proud of him because he followed your instructions. You've had plenty of guys, including Pacquiao, who haven't done that. Yes. Um, what are your, basically, what are your instructions on your strategy against Crawford? It have to be different than against what he said. Yes. Uh, and it, the main thing is he has a height advantage and a reach advantage, and he needs to, he needs to use that jab and set everything up. And he's very good at that, and he has he does have good power in the right hand. I think people underestimate the power he has in that hand. He does have knockout power, but the thing is he, he won't use that right hand until he knows he has you in, within the right distance and right timing. So he's very good at that, and um, he's patient. He takes his time, he'll break a fighter down first before he goes for the knockout. And that's that's why I like him so much, though, because he's like very intelligent fighter. He just doesn't you know, just go out there and try to get lucky. He's thinking all the time. What about Crawford? I mean, he's, he's got to be a pretty good fighter. They wouldn't be drooling all over him like that. He's a good fighter, and he might be the next uh, maybe pay-per-view star out there. Um, that's what they're hoping for, I'm, I'm sure. And that's why Bob needs him to win or wants him to win. But um, if they have to go the other way with my guy, I think they might have just as good a success with him because, you know, he, again, he's trying to learn English and so forth, and he is speaking better English, and at least he's trying to be a, a star in America. And but you know, Crawford is a good boxer. He's very good. He's a talented kid. Um, uh, you ever been in here? No, but um, oh, you know, um, his. His trainers, you know, they tell me that they've known each other all their lives and they've, me and Postal only know each other eight weeks at a time. And that's why they have an advantage. But um, maybe they get bored of the same guy being around for a long time. Maybe that's why trainers get fired. I mean, 
we're always the first ones to get fired. Yeah. And that's why I'm so loyal to Manny Pacquiao, because in 15 years, he's never fired me. They talked a little bit in the conference call today, uh, they being McIntyre and, uh, and Crawford about uh, postal holding and grabbing and holding and grabbing and how they will go to Tony Reese and have that discussion. What do you say to that? Uh, you know, Tony Reese is, a, is a, I like him as a referee. I think he'll do a good job. And the thing is, um, my guy does um, tie people up at certain times. Um, when he's, uh, maybe when he feels like he's not in his most comfortable comfort zone, and he will tie fighters up and wait for the referee to break him, but I don't think he's excessive at it, but um, uh, 